Hey guys, welcome back to the Watches and Giggles channel. I'm Chris from Chicago. First off, as always, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. In today's vid, guys, we're going to be talking about Tudor and why you need to buy Tudor for the right reasons and how Tudor is not Rolex, guys. And we're going to get into all that in just a minute. But before we do, we'll see what I'm wearing. And today I have on my daily driver, the Rolex Explorer 214270. Just did a year review on this. If you'd like, you can go check that out. But today, guys, it's all about Tudor. And no one's talking about this because why? Well, no one really cares, but <laughs> I'm going to do the vid anyway. Tudor just had a price increase, very small. Uh, I think this watch, my Tudor GMT, was 4050 Now it went up to 4175 and my Tudor Black Bay 58 uh, was 30, no, I'm sorry, 3,700 and went up to 3,800. So very small price increase by Tudor, but Rolex just did one. Tudor did one as well. Nobody cares about Tudor really anymore. And that's kind of the point of this video is for those of us that do love Tudor, which I do, I love Tudor for what it is. It's a vintage inspired diver, the Black Bay series is really their star, right? That's what keeps Tudor going, and they're a great watch. But nowadays, the watch market is super hot, and everyone's into investing in watches, right? It's kind of turned into something else. Uh, but Tudor, you have to be very careful when you are buying. When the Black Bay GMT came out, it was going for a premium, guys. You couldn't find it anywhere. People were paying 5000 5500 And now, you can probably pick one up between thirty two and $3,500, we're talking American dollars, guys. And same thing for my Tudor Black Bay 58, which is a beautiful watch. Uh, but same thing, when this came out, was going for a premium, probably around $5,000, and now you can pick one up. Man, I've seen one just sold on eBay for $3,100. Uh, so pretty crazy, guys. But usually the prices you're gonna pay is probably around $3,200 to $3,400 for a used uh, Tudor Black Bay 58. But this is kind of my point. For those that want to invest in watches, and I do this because I wouldn't recommend investing in watches, but uh, Tudor was getting sucked into that game for a while, but now people realize that Tudor is not an investment watch, guys. It's a watch that you buy to wear, to love it, enjoy it. Uh, it's going to lose money, most likely. Yeah, okay. And if you hold on to it for 20 to 30 years, I'm sure it'll go up in value, but people are getting sucked down that that pipe dream that Tudor is an investment watch and it's not guys it really never has been yeah the Tudor's uh snowflake from the 70s are but you know some chronographs are some tiger chronos but for the most part Tudor is not an investment watch it is a watch you buy wear it love it enjoy it and that's about it so wanted to put a word of caution now to everyone buying the new panda uh you know Baby Tona, whatever we're calling it. I'm not sure, but the Tudor Chrono, uh, the Panda, it's a beautiful watch. It is, and it's going for a small premium. Oh, I think David SW had one uh, listed for $6,800. Uh, I think that got a price increase, and now it's $5,350. By the time you're done paying taxes, you're almost $6,000 out the door in Chicago. So a very small premium of maybe close to $1,200 to $1,000 uh, you know, that it's going for right now. But don't, don't do it, guys. Wait, wait till you can get one from an AD. Do not play that game with Tudor. It's going to come down. The Tudor Panda, the Reverse Panda, there's going to be no premium. You're going to be able to get one from your AD in another year, maybe a year and a half, guys. The hype will die down. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, the watch is thick. I know uh, this one comes in, just a little under 15, but it is a chunky monkey. Uh, chronographs historically are obviously chunky monkeys. They're thick watches. I think that one's at 14.4 or 14.2, but it's still a thick watch, guys. And most people, after wearing it for a while, aren't going to like it unless you have a big wrist like your boy here, watches and giggles seven and a half, uh, which I can pull these watches off easily. The Tudor 58. The Black Bay 58 Navy Blue is a little different, obviously much thinner of a watch, and it wears closer to a five-digit Rolex watch, guys. But 
I wanted to put out this word of caution that Tudor is not an investment watch. Do not invest in Tudor watches. Buy a Tudor watch for the right reason because you really want one. If you want a Rolex and you are buying a Tudor watch to scratch that itch, uh-uh, it's not going to do it. That money is going to be tied up. You're going to lose money on it. You're going to have to sell it when you get the call finally uh, to get your Rolex Mariner, Explorer, Explorer 2, GMT, whatever it may be. And you're going to lose $1,000 on your watch if you really didn't want one. And you're buying Tudor as a placeholder uh, to get your Rolex. So buy a Tudor watch because you like it. Buy a Tudor watch because it's vintage inspired. It's what the old five digit Rolex is. Um, used to be and it kind of reminds me of and these are actually in my opinion better built than the five digit rolex watches uh the only negative thing about tudor is the clasp okay there's no on the fly adjustments uh which does suck and does bring it down a little bit in my opinion hopefully tudor will come out with adjustable clasp in the future and we'll rectify that and it'll make these a little more enjoyable to wear but i love tudor guys but i have it for the right reasons a watch i don't care about a watch I can just enjoy, love, and I do not think that Tudor is an investment piece. So just a little word of caution, guys. Be careful when buying Tudor. You're not getting sucked down that rabbit hole. I know all these YouTube videos make them seem great and wonderful, and they're probably going to be worth more money than what you pay for them. No. In my opinion, guys, they will never be. Even the Panda and Reverse Panda, you're hearing it another year or so you're gonna be able to get one pretty easily just like you can with these two. You may have to wait a tiny bit from an authorized dealer. I waited three weeks to get the Tudor Black Bay 58 and I just walked into the AT, uh, AD excuse me, and bought the Tudor GMT. But I love Tudor guys, but just be careful when buying them. You don't get sucked down that rabbit hole and buy a Tudor because you actually want a Tudor. That's going to do it today, guys. A little bit of a rant, but had a little bit of time, so thought I'd make this vid. Again, hope everyone's doing well and is healthy and is safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.